Hey, Tyler and Trip here, and welcome to another episode of the Trip and Tyler Show. Today we're gonna be talking about tipping. Tyler and I are gonna teach you a game that his brother made up, and we're gonna give you a very helpful tip on what to do when you have too much cabbage in your life, which is all of us. Here's a tip for the next time you're in a situation where you don't have a big enough tip. It's a tip tip. Oh crap, do you have any cash? I think I'm, I might. Well hurry, here he comes. Uh, I only have a dollar. Is that enough? I never know. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's enough. Just double fold. That extra fold means extra girth, and the extra girth makes him think the tip is bigger than it actually is. Whoa, that's genius. Not only that, but by the time he finds out how much it really is, you'll be long gone, buddy. This always happens to us. Now we know. And knowing is a large majority of the battle. Gee, I know. But there's a reason to not do that, right? Yeah, I've. it's good advice for when you're in a situation where you don't have enough money. You legitimately don't have enough right. money. You're in valet and you have one dollar. But part fold. of being a good human is to tip people generously. Absolutely. So. I was actually reading an article on one of my favorite sites on the internet, which we'll talk about later. It basically said this, anytime you're tipping this year, just give one or two extra dollars. If you're in 50 tipping situations in the whole year, which is pretty true for me as a suburban guy, that's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. You're not even going to feel that. You're not going to feel a hundred bucks over the course of a year. I think you should give me a hundred dollars right now to prove to them that you would not feel that. You give it back to me afterwards? No. Prove it. Uh, you, what's in your wallet? I have I'll two take one hundred dollar bills. In Which my he wallet. said you would not feel if you over lost the that course in. of a year. Okay, you're, I you're will only ask you today, and I will not ask you again <laughs> for the rest of the year. Okay, prove it. Can you give me ninety eight dollars back so that I'll feel the same as if I gave you a I don't. two dollar all the cash tip. I have. Okay, I'll give you. Yeah, I'll give you a hundred. <laughs> and then I doubt we're gonna feel this. I hope that was. Uh... Speaking of money, I have an amazing show and tell. Hooray! Introducing the million dollar game. I think of something, and Tyler has to tell me what I'm thinking. And if he gets it right, he gets one million dollars. For That's instance, simple. Tyler. Name the cereal that I'm thinking of right now. Alphabets. That is incorrect. Oh, was I was it? thinking of honeycomb. You wanna try it? That's the game. I'll give you a million dollars if you can name the actress that I'm thinking of. Uh, you are thinking of, um, you are thinking of Myla Kunis. <laughs> nope. I was thinking of Kristen Bell. Dang it. That's the game. But what's amazing about it is that one, one out of every 100, 200 that you, that you do, yeah. you'll get it right. When someone gets it right, it is the most fun thing in the world. I know last episode we probably told you that there was something that was the most fun thing in the world, but this really is the most fun thing in the world. And I, I think you may think that we are kidding right now, but we're really not. This game will make a five hour road trip go by like it's only four hours. Yes. I, I gotta give a shout out to my brother real fast. My brother invented this game. And Thanks, Brian. I didn't get to finish telling them about how you keep a tally in case you all get rich, then you can actually pay up one day. Did you add that? That's not part of Brian's original game, but I like it. How about this? We'll give you one million dollars if you can name the AD year that I'm thinking of right now, the AD year Put your answer in the comments or leave it on our Facebook page. Or you can even tweet us. We don't care. At Trip and Tyler, Facebook slash Trip and Tyler. Comments are usually down there unless this is embedded somewhere. Then you can click the title and then reopen it in YouTube and put it in the comments. Also, we want to give you a life hack. What is our life hack today? Our life hack today is for people who drive in cars and plug their iPhones in and there's kind of a tangled cord mess. This is how you solve it. To make any USB cord or car charger much more manageable, simply coil it tightly around the blue pin, then tape the ends down so it remains tightly coiled, and heat thoroughly with a white hair dryer. 
Undo the tape, slide out the pen, and voila, a cable that's always the length you need it to be. Here's a better way to use USB cables. Or other cables. Or LPT printer port cables. Or micro USB cables. I bet it wouldn't work on a coaxial cable. It'd be, pretty, it'd be really hard to work on. You could on, try. On, is that the, is, You'd have to like wrap it around. Like my, a